well, good afternoon because it is 12.57 and I'm just getting out of my room. I have been obsessed with watching Tiger King. It is the most trashy, hilarious, ridiculous show I've ever seen on Netflix. I am obsessed. So I fell asleep watching it last night. So I had to go back and watch one episode and I'm going to continue watching it after I have my coffee. As you can see, I'm running low. Time to make a grocery store run. Uh, today is Sunday. Happy Sunday. I started my day off with a little Little Kim um, karaoke party in my room. So yeah, that was fun. I'm going to have some coffee, watch Tiger King, and do a workout. Last night, I purchased two things for home workouts. Um, I've had a lot of trouble trying to find a kettlebell. I have a kettlebell. It's only five pounds, though. And I want at least 15 pounds. But because everybody has to work out at home now on Amazon, they're all sold out. Except for the ones that are like $60. And I'm not paying $60 for a kettlebell. So, I'll be hunting for a kettlebell again today. I'm not going outside anymore just because my allergies have just been way too bad and I realize I start feeling worse when I spend time outside. But the problem is I like being outside right now. So, surprise, surprise. So, yeah, we'll see what the day holds. You want to say hi to the people? Oh, you do? Say hi. Say happy Sunday. Oh, you're in the kitchen. Good girl. See, now all of you who think I eat after her know that she's not even allowed in the kitchen. Hmm. Hi, Mama. Carol Baskin, draw this fence and try and hurt any of my animals again. You can guarantee goddamn tea I'm going to put a trap in your ass the first time to make you squirm around on the ground. And then I'm going to put a bullet right between your fucking eyes. <laughs> this show is so crazy. It's so good. You guys, this, I have been in here dying laughing for like 10 minutes straight. This show is, this is the best show of 2020. Like hands down, it is amazing. Tiger King. If you have not seen it on Netflix, please go watch it. Binge on it a whole day. Just take a whole day or half a day for two days and just watch this show. You're going to get your entire life. It is the best little just like guilty pleasure to take your mind away from what's going on. Oh my goodness, I can't stop watching it. It feels so weird. I haven't been out of the house today, like outside. Uh, I do have some content to shoot for Instagram today. Um, I just posted another picture on Instagram today and someone DM me. They were like, so you're just really going to keep posting like your regular schedule? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my goal in all this is to remain positive, uplifted, and to keep a sense of normalcy as much as I can. Um, I... I don't know if I've ever discussed this with you guys, but I am very organized with my content. I have all my videos planned until way until next year. I have all my Instagram content planned and I do this to make life easier. I put myself on a schedule as far as YouTube and Instagram. I like to post twice a week on both platform when I can. And um, I pre-plan and film and shoot a lot of, well, like 90% of my content. So I have tons of pictures that are from maybe December through March that have never made it to Instagram. So yeah, I'm going to continue posting and they're all relatable posts. Like it's not me, you know, sitting there hauling items that could make someone feel a particular way. Um, they're all very relevant things and they're things that are keeping me positive and uplifted. So Fret not, you guys will not stop seeing content on Instagram and YouTube, and that's the reason why I'm doing it. It's not that I'm trying to ignore what's going on. I'm trying to uh, keep up my life as much as I can, just like I'm not going to stop working or spending time with my dog or, you know, enjoying my family and friends as much as I can. I'm not going to stop working out and taking showers and doing my nails. Like I'm really trying to live life as normally as I can. Are you a savage, Chloe? Come here. You wanna learn the savage dance? No? Okay, maybe tomorrow.
Okay, so I had to modify some of the workouts just because my thighs are so sore from yesterday that they're shaking, but I did it. I actually really like these workouts. So shout out to my girl, Happy Stylish Mommy. I would have never known about these workouts if it weren't for you. Who knows? I might not ever have to go to the gym again because this is actually more fun. Like I can take a break, I can dance, there's music, and I can do it at home. It's safe. Love it, love it, love it. Making a shaved steak sandwich. And I'm gonna make garlic aioli. So I have garlic and mayonnaise, butter, onions, cheese, um, bun. Shouldn't be eating that, but oh well. That's why we fast. Now, typically I would use white onions and peppers, but we don't have peppers and we only had red onions, but these are just things that I found at the grocery store uh, and then like things that we just had left over. So this is the garlic aioli that I made. I'm just going to lightly toast it on the stove just because that's how I like my sandwiches. And then I just toast that for about 10, 15 seconds. Then I'm going to heat all that back up on the stove and then I'll be ready. Quick, easy, fun meal. If you have kids, they'll eat this if they eat burgers. This is the finished product. Once again, it's not super, super like for the cheese steak, but it works. It's gonna taste good. Bon appetit, family. Yeah, son. Anyway. I like showing you guys what I'm making for dinner just to show you that I didn't know what I was going to eat today. And this is just stuff that we had in the house because we either found it or it was like leftover from another meal. And as you can see, that cheesecake is not cheesecake. Lord, I've been thinking about Cheesecake Factory. That's a place I'll be going. We can go outside. Again. Like it's not a typical Philly cheesesteak. Still works. You guys who may not cook a lot, just look in your refrigerator. Think of what you could make. Google what to make with those ingredients and you'd really be surprised the things that you can make with uh, items that you already have. So yeah, that's a little tip for you guys, especially those of you who aren't used to cooking and are probably sick of cooking. You might have to get creative but don't throw your leftovers away like you can always make something out of them like that's always an option so yep that's it i'm gonna go for today i'm sure today's vlog was long enough i will see you guys tomorrow good morning it is eight o'clock uh, i have some essential matters to take care of <laughs> some errands to run my allergies are on 100 today. I can feel it. Um, so I will be wearing my mask when I go out. Like, that's non-negotiable. But yeah, let me try to get my day started uh, as best I can. I'm definitely sore from my workouts. Um, but I'm going to have to keep going. It's a good type of sore, though. It's like a feel like I'm accomplishing something kind of sore. almost 10 o'clock yes finished doing all my errands why not happy monday eat my chocolate yeah get back to episode one I am the director of the Myrtle Beach Safari and the Rare Seasons Fund. And speaking of incredible animals, joining us is the founder and director of Tiger. Good afternoon, guys. So my 
my friends and I, the crew, that's them texting, uh, we are having a brunch FaceTime date on Saturday. See my little friend back there? Uh, I told you guys that I stopped smoking hookah probably sometime last year. I stopped smoking at home and I only smoked it like when I went out socially. But since my crew is having like a FaceTime brunch because we were supposed to be, well, we were supposed to get together uh, like a week or so ago. And then we were also supposed to take a cabin trip. And since that's not happening, and I'm sure some of us are getting a little stir crazy and or going crazy. I mean, that's plausible as well. Uh, we're gonna have a little FaceTime brunch date and I wanna smoke hookah. So I just called the smoke shop to make sure that they are open. And sometime this week, I will go get some hookah. I kinda wanna get out of the house by myself so I can just blast my music and do what I want. Like be normal. <laughs> when I have people in my car, I like to be respectful. But because I haven't been going anywhere, I haven't been really in my car, jamming to my music, driving how I want to. Like, I miss that. <laughs> I miss going out, you guys. Like, I'm not someone who parties a lot. I probably party once a month. But I do like to go out every week, at least like once, if, even if it's just like to my favorite bar um or my favorite hookah bar or something like that uh so i miss that so this is gonna be nice i can't wait you can't chase the birds baby oh okay i need a tan and lotion Outside in the backyard, getting a little content in. <laughs> Sun feels so good, but I'm sure in a minute my allergies will be acting up. Maybe I don't need a heavier dumbbell. Ooh, that five pound, it gets you right if you're really working. I got my highest recorded heart rate ever. 183. Let's go, baby. I love these workouts. I think when the gym opens back up, I'm going to alternate every other day doing um, the Heather Robertson workouts and then the uh, and then the cardio on the opposite day. Because this just gives me such an intense workout. Like, I'm obsessed. Here's my workout. I actually got this front portion of hair wet because I didn't properly protect my hair, but whatever. Right now I'm about to watch Good Girls on NBC. It came on last night. I never watch TV when it comes on. I'd rather watch YouTube at night and then watch my TV shows throughout the day. So I'm gonna catch up on Good Girls and I'm gonna go eat because your girl is hungry. I worked up an appetite. I got an amazing shot outside, so stay tuned for more pictures on Instagram. Uh, yeah, it's been a good day. Um, but I guess I will close out today's vlog here because not much else is gonna happen. I'm eating the same thing I ate last night and I'm probably just gonna get back in bed soon. Today was just, <clears throat> excuse me, pollen. Today was just a really lazy day because I got up so early and I think tomorrow is going to be another long day. I have to go hunt and gather like a man when the grocery store opens. So that will be interesting. Uh, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Once again, here we are. It's 8 o'clock. 
going to go hunt and gather I'm so this is one of the like top two most annoying things about um this is having to wake up so early like it's so stupid you have to go hunt and fight and search for food it is just I I can't I'd rather stay up till four o'clock in the morning. Come on, Chloe. It's more normal at the store today. More people are wearing masks. It's a good sign. Hmm. I made it back from the grocery store. All I'm gonna do is sleep. I'm about to get some coffee and I'll probably still be able to sleep. That's the crazy part. I'm just so exhausted. It is what it is at this point. We're in the house definitely till the end of April. Woohoo! I can't sauce the worth shit. <laughs> Cafe Bustelo. Needed this coffee something serious. I can't do the donut shop coffee. Once you go Cafe Bustelo, you don't go back. It's like going black. If it's not this, I'm not gonna be awake. I need to be on somebody's beach. Like, these shirts used to be so, like, almost fitted. Weight loss would just change your life. charge of taking care of a plant. I don't do plant. I don't do kids. <laughs> Bonus points if you know where that is from. It's one of the best movies of all time. You're not disinfecting and cleaning hard enough if you don't end up getting bleach <laughs> all over your shirt. Now luckily, this shirt, like I said earlier, is too big and it has holes all in it. This is like my cleaning around the house shirt so yeah this is gonna be a shirt i wear to the grocery store <laughs> i just had to share with you guys <laughs> the weirdest comment i have ever gotten on my channel ever can you make a asmr video of you clearing your throat and swallowing and coughing please and i like your video and let me know if you make the video Sir, um, <laughs> number one, I need y'all to see my face for this. Hold on. First of all, Mr. Webb, um, this is not an ASMR channel. Uh, me clearing my throat, swallowing and coughing, not during this time, sir. That is disgusting. <laughs> Who? Now, I like ASMR. I am not shaming those who like ASMR. That's how I fall asleep most days. But I don't want to hear an ASMR of coughing, sneezing, swallowing, and clearing your throat. Like, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> I never knew there was a category for uh, sick patients in terms of ASMR. We will not be doing that on the channel. <laughs> I like to honor you guys' requests, but coughing, sneezing, swallowing. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, sometimes I get the craziest comments. Hey guys. Um, I am so, it's actually cold right now, but it's cold outside and I actually can't figure out if I have a fever or not. <laughs> I think this is just me stressing out because it's cold and now my hands are cold but my body feels warm but i'm probably okay i need to do a skincare mask though this is my dior jelly jelly mask it's the glow better mask i would not repurchase it just because it's like a 70 dollar face mask and my max for anything like a face mask is probably 50 dollars, but it's usually a little less I don't like to spend a ton of money on products that I am just going to wash off. I also could be, I have a headache also. Don't Google your symptoms, you guys. But it might also be because this is the first day I've had Cafe Bustelo in like a week. So I might not be used to um, 
you know, all the caffeine. I do also want to say shout out to me. <laughs> I found my beauty blender after not having this for like two months. I lost it one day and it was inside of a shoe on my floor. That is the reason why I need to just make this a closet because there's too many pairs of shoes. So when I lost that, I decided I wasn't going to spend another $20 on a sponge. So I purchased these. I will link them down below. They come from Amazon. It's an amazing dupe for a beauty blender. So this is the original beauty blender and this is the dupe. This is the dupe. So as you can see, it's not as small. They get just as big when they're wet. When they're dry, this one is a little tougher to squeeze, but this is like a 98% match of a beauty blender. Like I've never found any other sponge that is shaped the same and that feels the same. Uh, and for like $10 a pack, you really can't beat it. Was I looking? I was looking at the wrong side of my camera. <laughs> but anyway, um, at $10 a pack, you really can't beat it. But anyway, let me let this mask uh, marinate on my face and finish watching All American. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I think I told you guys Chloe was in trouble. I'm getting her out now. She is excited. You ready to get out of jail? Oh, you peed on the floor. Oh, that's interesting. Took my temperature. It's 97.2. I'm not dying. I may or may not have virus, but hopefully I don't. Okay, it's just me freaking out. <laughs> Sad. I caught myself just standing in the pantry looking for something to eat. This is why <sighs> this corn stuff is for the birds. I don't know how I'm not getting weight, but... Praise be to God. Grapefruit sparkling water. Okay, let me do something productive. I got up and Miss Grace was wagging her tail at me. She knows she's in trouble. Hmm. Okay, so I have an ebook I need to read. It was put out by my friend. You guys know I've talked about her on my channel and on my Instagram before because she is amazing at what she does. She is, oh, how do I like describe her? She works with large businesses. She helps them scale their business. Uh, right now, she's also working with smaller businesses just because of the current uh, economy. She wants to help small businesses scale, but also fine tune themselves and become more profitable, especially during this time. She does crisis management. She does HR. She does like everything related to business. She is your guru. I'm not just like saying all these great things about her because she's my friend. Um, I first met her because I took her course and I'm going to link that down below. And it was a course about sponsorships, partnerships, and branding with social media. And it was amazing. I took it in December and it has helped me so much. I've made so much more money just from really getting focused with my own brand. That's why I do things like plan out my social media content. Uh, I'd always been planning out my YouTube content, but... Um, her course just really helps me fine tune just social media, the social media aspect of what I do. And it also helped me because I run different businesses, uh, social media page, social media pages, and it's helped me with social media marketing. Like it's just a wealth of information that has been so, so beneficial. She produces results and she's amazing. So she has an ebook that she put out, I believe, with other women in business. Let me find it. So it's called The Coin Contingency Plan. And this is an ebook. It's by herself and one, two, three, four, five other 
experts in their fields. She said, I've gathered a group of amazing, talented women professionals from different fields to help you thrive in these challenging times. Together, we've created this free ebook with actionable tips and resources to act quickly and get amazing results that we are seeing with all of our clients. So it's an ebook. I'm downloading it now. Yeah, it's not the crisis contingency plan. It's the coin contingency plan. And I'm so excited for this. So let me read my ebook and take my notes and get busy. To read this ebook because of course I knew it would be something beneficial and I also wanted to support my friend uh, but the things that I got from this free ebook there's so many ways you could be growing your audience growing your business making extra money introducing a new business fine-tuning your business like there's so many helpful tools and resources in this ebook I'm linking it down below. Everybody needs it. Small business owner, entrepreneur, whatever. If you want to get yourself out there on social media, if you just want to stay afloat with your regular business, you need this free ebook. I need to tell her how much I'm so thankful for this. Like this was free. There's templates. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed on this ugly, gloomy day to get my creative juices flowing and to brainstorm and be great. You need it. I'm like pumped. Wow. Isn't that right? Go back. Making eggplant parm. I'll probably have one eggplant. I don't necessarily like eggplant parm, but don't wanna make another whole meal. Instead of pasta. Something at Kroger that was a dollar, well, less than a dollar, right? Close out deals. Those are the best. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know the brand. Oh, it's called Twisted. Twisted Ranch. It's from St. Louis. Oh my goodness. I love ranch. If you know me, you know that I love a large ranch. A little vegetarian snack. Amazing. Hopefully you guys can find it somewhere. Ready to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me, sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Warn me that this is what it looks like. I don't know why I was expecting like a noodle. Mm, okay, let's see. So, wish me luck. Trying something new. Bon appetit, family. She's finally out of timeout. Dinner was great. That zucchini was different, very watery and thin, but it worked. I would actually eat it again. So I have my baby, my libation. It's time to watch TV, unwind, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. <laughs> It is 10.54 and I'm just getting out of bed. 
Uh, I set my alarm for earlier because I really wanted to go to Chick-fil-A and get breakfast because I have not had fast food in like a month. <laughs> and I just really wanted a chicken bagel. But it wasn't meant to be. God is trying to save me from myself. Thank you, God, because this little waist, she needs it for this summer. So thank you. I woke up and I ordered some hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. It was like a five pack or something like that. I know they keep saying that you need um, hand sanitizer with 70% alcohol, but 68 is closer to 70, like it's 2%. I also bought some soap just to have some extra, but I needed some. I mean, I probably have like six left. If you're like a Bath & Body Works shopper, you have to keep a stockpile of at least like 20 to 30 soaps. Like it's necessary. So I got some soap. Also, um, because you guys know I keep it 100% real with you, Bath & Body Works is not offering free shipping right now. I feel like every company that has closed their physical brick and mortar location should be offering free shipping because now I am at an inconvenience because I can't go to your store. So I placed my order and I called customer service and of course the guy was like, sorry, we cannot do that. And I just said, may I please speak to the supervisor? It was in Meredith's voice though, because Meredith is the one who takes over me and calls customer service. So after trying to get a supervisor on the phone, he couldn't get one, he comps me my shipping. So if you're paying shipping prices for these stores who are not offering free shipping, please call customer service and get your money back because there's no reason for you guys to be charging shipping right now. That's just a little tip for you guys. been doing this for years please don't touch these gas pumps even when corona isn't here they're disgusting there's feces all over it <laughs> you know it felt so good to be out of the house and in the car by myself like it almost feels normal again like i'm riding down the road blasting my trap music like this oh this makes me feel like life is normal like life is good again and then i realized oh wait we're still in a pan so i never met you i know that you special when that another tip <laughs> uh so i have a few businesses that i have to ship products or items so if you run a small business where you have to ship things i would recommend printing your labels at home just to minimize how many things you have to touch when you're in the store so that's just my little tip I'm leaving the post office. Now it's time to go to the smoke shop. I'll see you guys when I get home and I'll show you what I got from the smoke shop. I got home. You guys, it felt so good to be out of the house. Mm, the simple things. So let me share with you what I got from the smoke shop. Shisha for Saturday. This is the brand Hydro. It is Cali Drizzle. It looks like it's blueberries and ice or mint. I like icy type of uh, hookah flavors. And then I also got a CBD lollipop because I cannot smoke my CBD right now. So I just wanted to try this out. Something to help me relax. It's a lollipop no one's gonna think anything of it. For those of you who are feeling a little confined and getting stir crazy, I would highly recommend you to just take a drive. Like you don't even have to get out of the car but just take a drive. It's gonna make you feel so refreshed. Like you're gonna feel like you're normal and it's a normal time again. Mm, beautiful. So yeah, let me get in there and get this coffee because I have not had coffee. So I just finished uh, brushing Chloe out. Um, yeah, <laughs> she does not like being groomed by the way those of you who have pets though how are you going to be maintaining their hair if they are a long haired dog if you didn't know shih tzus actually have hair not fur and chloe's hair grows very long it will grow all the way until it touches the floor she could go to the groomer but i just i don't know i feel like if we can just stay home as much as possible that's great i'm thinking of just having somebody hold her still and I will give her a scissor 
clip trim <laughs> using like a comb and scissors. I don't know. She's a shit zoo, so she does need a lot of grooming. I can do the regular stuff. Like right now, I'm just going to go clip her face. She fights for that, but it's not too much of a struggle. Yeah, if you guys have long haired animals, just let me know what you're going to be doing during this time. She is a sleepy baby. You didn't get a long enough nap? You want to go get another nap? Or do you want to go outside? Want to go outside? Want to treat? You don't want to treat? Whoa! Oh, there she is. Show everybody your haircut. I clipped Chloe's face. Can you tell? <laughs> I did as best a job I could do. So I finished taking the photo for Instagram. And I just realized it's 5 o'clock and I basically have nothing else to share with you guys today. Uh, all I'm going to do is work out, do some more work, do a little bit of cleaning and then eat. And anything else that I do today will just be me like blabbering on and running my mouth. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, beautiful people. Look at the sky. That is pure unfiltered sky. Feels good to be outside. It's a little chilly today. It's been chilly for a few days. I'm just happy to be outside. Since starting my... Heather Robertson workouts. I feel like I'm getting stronger. I feel like my body is changing. <laughs> I know it's only been about a week, but my thighs don't hurt anymore. I found a few more of her workouts that I love. I'm actually going to link my workout playlist down below. When the workouts become too strenuous for me, I just modify them, which has been easy. So I wanted to sit out here and have a talk with you guys. One, we have to have a talk about wearing gloves and sanitation. And I really wish the CDC would put out a video or a message about wearing gloves and how to properly sanitize because all you hear them talking about is washing your hands. And while that's important, I see a lot of people <laughs> using gloves improperly. Someone sent me a video of a woman on the subway and she was sitting there eating fries with her gloves. Now, those could be her eating gloves, I'm not sure. But those also could be her maneuvering public transportation gloves. And I just want you guys to know, if you are going to use gloves when you go to the grocery store and things of that nature, you need to do a glove switch a couple of times. Um, I would say, wash your hands before you leave the house, get in your car, I would always try to keep your car a sterile place. When you get to the grocery store, after you exit your car, put on a pair of gloves. Use those gloves to do everything in the store, whatever you have to do. I would recommend keeping your phone in your pocket, your fanny pack. I would recommend fanny packs over purses right now or keeping your phone in your car. After you're done and you get to your car, use those gloves, those same gloves, to put the products and items in your car. After everything is in your car, take the gloves off, get in your car, sanitize your hands. When you get home, take a new pair of gloves or not if you're going to sanitize your products, but you should be sanitizing them if you've used those gloves. Take a new pair of gloves, take everything out, and then sanitize your products. Now, some people will do a change of gloves after they touch products in the store and when they go for checkout, but my thing is... You've already touched items that people could have breathed on or touched. So I would just have one change of gloves for anything outside of your car and then taking them off and sanitizing your hands before you get in your car. Once again, the goal is to keep your car a safe, sanitized place. Then after you get in and you've taken everything out of your car, I would recommend sanitizing your own hands. Well, since you're at home, you should wash them and then sanitize each product. You don't have to do that. I would do that. That is what I do just because I can't afford to get sick. So I sanitize every product that comes into my house. When I go out and about, um, yesterday I went to the dollar store. I will take, well, with the plastic bag, I'll still try to take it 
out like take the products out of the plastic bag while i'm out and throw the bag away i also don't take receipts unless it's something like when i left the post office i had to track those items so i took a receipt but just be mindful of how many things you touch that other people are touching um same thing with the post office that post office clerk touched my receipt with the gloves that he touched other people's boxes and items that have been in their homes in their cars in front of their faces like you just you really have to be mindful of all these things now these things come natural to someone like myself who is ocd and a germaphobe and for those of us that are germaphobes and or ocd this is going to make your ocd 10 times worse okay this is coming from someone with a psychological background. You're probably going to develop some type of anxiety. And that is not meant to scare you, but it's just because we're already heightened right here. If you have OCD, especially around cleaning, but a viral out is just going to put you over the edge. So please just try to be mindful. So thank you guys for listening to my TED Talk this morning. You guys know I love to chat. I'm going to sit out here and stand in the sun since it has migrated over there. So brunch for today we have a biscuit which i should not be eating but oh well a sausage patty a fried egg with garlic jalapeno seasoning a shih tzu who thinks she's getting some and she's not a sprinkle of cheddar cheese and mayo yum 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 and i think i made this the wrong way yep okay so I got some items from Amazon the other day and I want to finally open them up. I kept them in the foyer just because I wanted to make sure I left them and let them sit for a few days. So if there was any virus on them, it had a better chance of drying up, I guess. Now these are things that I'm using for my health and fitness journey. I think I've told you guys, uh, don't touch those packages, mama. A lot of the things I've wanted for my workout journey, they have not had in stock, but I got some core slider discs from Amazon. I will link them down below. They are dual sided. So on one side, they have a slick material and the other side is like a padded material. So you can use one on like hardwoods, tiles and another side on carpet. So I picked these up. Second thing I got, a band, a workout band. And this is for, whoo, oh, maybe I should have gotten the light one. This is for use around your thighs when you're squatting and stuff. Let's see how this works. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this one. Oh, first of all, my thighs are too big for this, honey. Oh. But this can be whoo, used for squats. Oh my gosh. Oh, it really does make a difference. So I will link this below as well. Oh, honey. <laughs> and this is the medium resistance band. And eventually I will do a video uh, featuring all the things that I'm using during this time for self-care. And for me, working out is a part of self-care just because I enjoy doing it. It helps me to be healthy and also it de-stresses me. Okay. So. so I was just sitting here working on my monthly plan that I got from the ebook that I took. And I was just thinking how like so many people are probably thinking that now is a great time to go into YouTube or anything like that. But like everybody's being affected by this recession because whether or not they're calling it a recession right now, it definitely is one. And this is why it's so important to have multiple streams of income. Like I've always told people, regardless of what happens to YouTube or other things that I do, I always want to have my hands in different pots and when you start thinking about the things you want to do as far as multiple streams of income, you really have to make sure they are spread across different categories. Like think of all the businesses that you could be running from your home right now that would actually be beneficial during this time. Now I'm not gonna give anyone any hints or anything because I don't want you to take my ideas, but there are so many things that are now useful because families are home. 
single people are home. People can't go to the gym. They can't go out and have fun and go out to eat and enjoy themselves. Like there are so many businesses that can be profitable during this economic downturn without going too much into my own personal life. And what I've been working on, something that I'm actually doing in the next year or so is a business that's recession proof. It is one of the few businesses that regardless of what happens, there's going to be a need for it. Regardless of what happens to the economy, there's a need for it. Um, like a few of the ideas that we had for this year actually would not be the best when you think about the direction that our economy is going in. And but that's not to discourage anyone from doing those things, but if I could have it my perfect way, I would have YouTube, I would have the marketing and advertising, I would have the other business, um, real estate. Like there are different things that you really should just think about when you're trying to start a business or grow a business, run a business. Um, you really don't want to have it all tied to one thing. Maybe if you are furloughed or maybe if you lost your job altogether, uh, take the ebook, contact those amazing women in business. I'm not your business guru, <laughs> okay? You can contact me for any beauty purposes, but uh, there are so many resources out there. And there are so many talents and tools that people possess. I think my girl Kendra... Uh, she posted something on Instagram maybe a month ago and said, anything that people are paying you for, you're an expert at it or something like that. Something along those lines. And it's like, wow, when you really like I can think of three additional things I could be doing right now online that are recession proof. Now, do I necessarily want to focus a lot of my energy on them right now? Not so much, um, just because there's a lot going on beyond what I'm showing you guys on the vlogs, but there are so many things we could be doing. So I want to challenge you guys, especially those of you who maybe have wanted to start a business and then this recession or this, you know, don't let it deter you because you really can change the course of what you wanted to do and think about it and come at it from a different way and it could be even more profitable. So that's my little word of wisdom for today. Yes, there are a lot of people who are unable to spend right now, but the people who are able to spend are still spending. So don't let that deter you. Don't think that I can't promote my business right now because you know there are many who have lost their jobs. Yes, that's true, but that shouldn't stop you from promoting and you doing what you have to do to reach your goals. There are so many things that we can be doing. So yeah. Put my hair up today so that I don't sweat it out. I'm using my new workout band and we are doing a Heather Robertson full body mini band workout. Pray for me. <laughs> Once again, Heather Robertson kicked my ass. They need to make one for plus size ladies because my thighs are large and they're already resisting the band. Just putting them on. So I'm gonna request resistance bands for plus size ladies because that was hard enough just getting them on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Good morning. 
beautiful people. I'm so excited I could cry. I woke up this morning and instantly weighed myself. I don't think I weighed myself. Maybe I did weigh myself yesterday, but I believe yesterday I was telling you guys when I took Chloe outside that I had gained two pounds. Well, that was what the scale said. And I said how I didn't believe that because you guys know I've been doing an intense workout for the past probably seven days now, or maybe six. And I've also been eating very carb consciously. I have had carbs here and there, but I'm also fasting, so that helps. I have now lost those eight pounds, six to eight pounds that I gained during the month of March when I went to Dallas, when I went to my training and I was away and I was like, that training was just a lot for a lot of reasons, but I have lost all that weight. Oh my goodness. I could just scream right now. When I stepped on that scale and I saw the number drop down to what it was, I almost didn't believe it. Are you in the kitchen? <laughs> I almost didn't believe it, and I was just like, thank you, God. Like, sometimes my weight fluctuates a lot. Like, when I got on the scale yesterday morning, it said I was six pounds heavier, and for some reason, I just knew that that couldn't be the case. <laughs> like, I went to sleep last night, and my abs were sore. Last Yesterday was the first day that I did the ab workout. I didn't even know I had abs, you guys. Like... You've seen my body when I do these workouts. Like, I'm getting more, like, toned, and I'm getting smaller, but I will always have a little stomach. Like, that's just how my body is. But when I tell you I can feel these abs, oh my goodness. So I just wanted to share that success with you guys and a little motivation because I lost those eight pounds during a month of confusion, stress, that seven letter word that begins with an A and ends with a Y. And so much more that goes on in my life that you guys don't see. I dealt with all that and I was successful. Like, and this is why I tell you guys, if I can do it, so can you. I wouldn't say that I'm an emotional eater but I'm definitely someone that's more likely to say it when I'm like stressed or emotional. But I try not to emotionally eat because I'm so focused on my goal, if you know what I mean. But when I do get really stressed out, sometimes I just can't eat. Now, luckily, that hasn't happened because I don't want to starve myself. Go back. But this is just motivation for you guys. If you're in the right headspace. If you are so motivated during this time, you can crush your goals. I said since the start of these weekly vlogs that I want to come out on the other side after this is over. And I can now say that I will. Like the fact that I am about to enter into a new little weight category, like, mm. <laughs> Now, I will probably never share how much I weigh on my channel. Uh, those of you who I talk to personally, yeah, I would. I don't care. But as far as on the internet, no. Some people are, they, no. <laughs> if I told you how much I weighed, you would not believe me. And that is because of how I carry my weight. Like these thighs are probably the strongest like body part <laughs> that I have. Like, yeah, so I will never share my weight, but just know that by the time we emerge, I'm gonna be buying new clothes or maybe I'll fit my skinny clothes. I am, oh, you guys, I'm so happy. I would have never thought a year ago that in the midst of all of this, I would be crushing my goals because I wasn't there. Well, a year ago, I probably was there mentally, but two years ago, I wasn't. Two years ago, I would be ordering pizza and sitting in front of the TV all day and being, being a couch potato, but now I have control. And to take back that control just feels amazing. So I wanted to share that with you guys, if you are in the right space. Now, I I don't know would I be able to be this successful if life wasn't like this. Like, I understand there are varying degrees of how people are dealing with this according to what their situation is. For me, and my life has been affected and changed, but, you know, it hasn't been too much of a 
big difference for me. So that's why I'm able to adjust and I realize that. But just the fact that I'm crushing my goals. Like I woke up and put on my workout clothes. Like I'm doing an ab workout and a full body workout when I finish vlogging today. <sighs> Stay on track, guys. Be motivated. Be encouraged. If you need to DM me, DM me. Like people reach out to me all the time. I am especially proof. Let me put this down because my arm's hurting. But I'm especially proof that you plus size women, you can do these workouts that you see on YouTube with, you know, slim women. You might have to um, alter them, but try, push yourself. Like, oh man, I'm so, I'm so happy I could cry. Like, I'm gonna stop going on and on. I'm gonna make my coffee and then I'm gonna get back with you guys because today is gonna be a shortened vlog of today. Today's Friday, by the way. Happy Friday, hey. Friday's my favorite day of the week. I have nothing special planned, but tomorrow is our um, virtual brunch. So I wanna save the rest of the vlog footage for that day. So let me make my tea and then I will come back and share with you what I wanted to talk about today. But let's crush our goals, you guys. Okay, it's been so long since we've been out here. Hello, hi. <laughs> I've been trying to limit my time outside because of the pollen. Like I woke up with a red eye and my allergies were everywhere. Um, but you guys know, like coming outside and sitting in the sun, although the sun is like away from me right now, it's really been amazing for me. So I'm going to insert a, I guess, graphic that I made of all the things I want to do post quarantine. You guys, I've made a list. She is ready. And then with this new body, like we have vacations on the list. I'll probably only take one vacation this year, like one real vacation, just because who knows when this is going to end. But uh, I've already talked with one of my girls and we are going like we both need this and I'm excited. <laughs> so I'm going to insert that graphic of all the things that I want to do when this is over, but I'm worried. I'm gonna have to do it very slowly. The rollout is going to have to be super slow because I don't wanna gain weight. So I'm gonna have to do just like one place a week, but I'm honestly taking advantage of this time in the house to save money. like. Because I'm not going out, I'm saving so much money. So I'll wait until quarantine is over. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because that is what I'm focusing on. Instead of being annoyed. Oh, she is loud. <laughs> you guys, everybody. Uh-uh. I know. Shh, shh. I know, baby. I know. She's very loud and very shh. Everyone in the neighborhood is like out being active. I love seeing it. Ah, oh, I love seeing people prosper. It makes me so happy. But anyway, I know, baby, it's okay. She's loud, but we can't do anything about it. My baby does not like anybody even seeming like they're coming around here. Um, but instead of focusing on all the things that I can't do right now, I'm focusing on what I have to be grateful for, which is so much. And I'm also like just planning all the amazing things that I'm going to appreciate and look forward to so much more when we get off lockdown. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, I'm going to go. This is going to be the last clip of the day. I'm going to bask in my glory. I'm going to go work out and I will see you guys tomorrow when we get ready for our virtual brunch. Be blessed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. <sighs> Allergy medicine. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday. Today is the day of the brunch. So I'm doing bottomless mimosas and a sausage, onion, and cheese bake. Uh, I will link the recipe down below. If you follow me on Instagram, which I hope you do, because I say that because I give a lot more uh, tips, tricks, and I share a lot more things as it relates to weight loss, health, fitness, and beauty over on Instagram, just because it's instant and it's easy to do. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that I do not measure anything. <laughs> I just feel like that takes too much time and I don't know. I kind of feel like when you know how to cook, you just sprinkle until it looks or smells right. And if you do cook a lot, uh, you know the proportions that you like in your food. Okay, 
I've made the breakfast casserole. I'm going to clean up the kitchen and go beat this face and get dressed for brunch, darling. Whiskey on the lane like pull up from my skirt. the finished product you guys it looks and smells delicious like i said i'm gonna post the link down below look at that like three two or three inches of goodness yummy 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 so this is what we'll be having for brunch today bon appetit family today's fragrance of the day is giorgio armani c this is one of my favorite sexy scents uh it's one of my most complimented i love it i wear it for every occasion not so much like church work appropriate for me uh i don't know it's like too sexy and heavy but it's not super super heavy it's just like a sweet caramel scent uh but this will be perfect for brunch today especially because i just need to feel extra because hello we have on a face <laughs> and we're gonna have on clothes like i yeah Giorgio Armani C, classic staple. Ooh, honey, this is why I keep telling you guys, once a week, get ready. It will just instantly lift your mood. So this is NARS Limited Edition Funky Town from the Studio 54 collection. I have one Ardell. I have one Ardell 601 Lashes, NARS Torrid Blush, I believe. This dress is from ASOS, so I will insert a picture of it. And then for shoes, then these are some Steve Madden block heels. Super, super comfy. I'll link them if I can find them. Mother Since this is brunch, we will be having hookah. This is my hookah coal lighter. I will link this down below. <laughs> it's the best invention for heating your coals uh, super, super quickly. I've never been more excited for brunch, you guys. Like, I feel like I'm really about to go turn up. I asked Chloe if she would be my bottle girl. She didn't really respond. Let's get this party started. I had to do a hair real quick. Oh, well, let's see what you did. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she like, who are they? Did you drink kombucha? Uh, right. Yeah, 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 I am. Girl, this is not a healthy time. This is not a, a health meeting. Really just went all out for her, her Sunday best on and her lip <laughs> Sunday best? Yes, I have not had fun in a month. A whole carafe of mimosas. A carafe? You have a carafe? Ma'am. <laughs> I miss you guys.
okay brunch is finally over oh my gosh it is 5 45 we had the best time like i love my friends like if you guys are watching thank you so much for this they were like she really went and put on her sunday's best yes you guys like I was looking forward to this all week. I just needed to feel normal again. I know I get on here and I'm positive and I try to be motivational and I try to, you know, motivate you guys and encourage you guys. And I'm also doing it for myself as well, but this was so needed. It's been a month since I have like really interacted with more than just the people who I converse with on a daily. And so that was super, super fun. Um, now I'm super, super tired. I'm going to end this vlog here. Chloe, she hung as long as she could. <laughs> she is knocked out. That is so funny. So yeah, thank you guys for chilling with me today and all week. I am going to take my dress off and get a workout in. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to continue working out every day and uh cook dinner for the crew so thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys next week we've officially made it 21 days of quarantine at least i have since i put myself on a self-quarantine um three weeks down however many to go but we will get through this and i hope you guys had a better week this week than your previous week even though things have been tough i love you all and i will see you in the next video bye